we are going to begin creating our city buildings with geometric shapes. So you'll have your scissors and you'll get your paper strips that you add your textures to. And now I know we could just create these as buildings and be done with our cities, but does this remind you of some of the visuals we saw of the cities around the world? Probably not. It's probably a little bit plain. So this is going to be your, your background paper will be white, but if you really want another color, let me know. Eventually we'll add a sky up here to add mood to your city. But you're just going to be looking at um, one of my charts, cutting any kind of shapes that you want. And notice, if you want, you on the back you can draw shapes, but I would do the whole length like of your strip. Don't draw like little shapes like inside of it, like a little circle here and try to cut that out. We're sticking to basic city shapes. We're not, we're not adding our windows today. That's a different day. Now this one I'm going to cut the little edges off to make it an oval. So here's some city. Here's already some geometric shapes. I'm going to cut this into squares and rectangles. And stick to the basic 2D shapes. Maybe you maybe you want a trapezoid in there. That'd be kind of fun. Kind of like a triangular trapezoid. If you want a round shape, I would cut a rectangle or a square first and then cut the edges. It'll save you a lot of paper. Because if you waste a lot, you're going to have to go back and do some textures and create some more. So you're going to find you're going to have a bunch of geometric shapes in front of you. Again, take your time when you do this. There is no rush. so perfect just try to get them to be geometric okay so here I am I'm ready to start building my city buildings all right I'm gonna clear them off my background my scraps and here I go start combining them in fun and creative ways and you'll start to see that your buildings remind you of the ones that you saw around the world, the visuals that we looked at. Instead of just rectangular prisms or rectangles to create a city building, they'll look really kind of interesting and fun. I'm going to keep my light shapes with my light shapes. And as you're doing this, don't be afraid to invent like a shape. Like here I'm going to put this trapezoid with a triangle on top and I'm going to call it a trap angle. So that's where my city building started. I'm going to start down here. darker building better than my light building. So I think I'm going to keep adding more of my darker shapes even to the light building just to kind of give it some more presence.
in making city buildings this way. You may not get as many as you think you would, but the ones that you make will probably be a little more interesting than you originally thought. And remember, we're just doing our 2D shapes. We're not doing the 2D relief 3D today. That's a different day. So it looks like what happened with me is I started to prefer the darker um, pages because I thought it gave my buildings more of a presence. The lighter ones kind of got washed away into the background. So if you're using white background paper and you want the lighter buildings, you'll get a darker piece of paper. And the people who are using um, more of the, the black paper can get the white background. My rectangles, three rectangles combined, so I'm going to call them rectangles three. Get started now. 